Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well today. I think I filmed here once before because it basically it's the other side of my island. I move in like four days. So I don't have any like table set up. And when I film the other side of the island, my patio door is like behind and the lighting's all dodge. So here we are, sat almost in my kitchen filming. Um, but yeah, today I've got an exciting video to film. I got lots of goodies for my birthday. I either got given these, like actually these from my lovely friends and family, or I got like gift vouchers and money and I've purchased like a few bits and bobs. So today I thought I'd do a full face of like first impressions. I have nearly a full face. The only things I don't have is powder and cream blush. Um, my skin is so dry at the moment. My lips, I don't think I'm drinking enough water um, because my lips are really, really dry at the moment and my skin is just, yeah, needing some hydration. So. First of all, I have this. This is from Laneige. This is the Water Bank Blue Hydra... Hydronic? I can't say that. Cream Moisturiser. So this I'm just using for some hydration. I'm guessing this is just kind of like a moisturiser. I got this actually as a free sample. We know that Laneige is like great for like lip care and those lip balms that they do are like so popular so high hopes to be honest yeah this just feels like a normal kind of moisturizer definitely got that like water cream kind of feel to it which i like in a moisturizer um i think they're slowly becoming like my favorites the kind of like water-based gel moisturizers i think they just work well for my kind of skin type without feeling super heavy um, I feel like my skin needs the hydration of like thick creams, but my skin doesn't like the thick creams. So water-based moisturizers are really just good for that. Next, I got a mini of the Hourglass, the Mineral Primer. I got the mini version. I love a mini when I'm trying out new makeup, especially if it's quite expensive because what if I don't like it and I've just spent... 50 quid on a primer so i like to get minis see how they go and if i really love it i'll purchase the big one i think more companies should do minis especially when makeup runs out really quick i feel like paying less for a small amount of quantities but you kind of use it up more than have like things that are sitting around for years and then they go off makes sense to me but i'm sure there's like a money reason what behind it or like a this must be something why company, some companies just don't offer like small travel sizes and some do. Obviously the packaging is very bougie for Hourglass even for a little travel size. This is glass and yeah I've wanted to try this primer for a while but it is on the more expensive side. Well it feels soft already even when I'm just kind of applying it. Oh, it feels, oh, it feels unreal. Like it feels like butter. Okay. So to elevate your foundation to unprecedented performance with this state-of-the-art primer that extends wherever your foundation for the perfect complexion that lasts with a texture unlike any other this oil-free primer not only creates a smooth, even canvas for makeup, but also conceals redness, minimises the appearance of pores, fine lines and wrinkles, and provides a broad spectrum of SPF 15. And an airy, silky, cloud-like texture. That's what it's like. It's like... Almost feels like frosting. <laughs> not that you would rub frosting on your face, but that kind of like smooth whip soft creamy texture okay i like this so it doesn't have oil in it says it's an oil free primer it feels slightly oily but not greasy so i'd love to know how the people that have oily skin get on with this because my skin can handle 
something that's got a bit of oil. It says it's oil free so it's interesting that it feels that kind of slippery consistency. It almost feels a tiny bit like when you put silicone primers on. Do you know how your hands like glide? This does feel moisturising. Oh, I like this. I feel like I just want to touch touch my face. So, okay. Next, I got this just because I had it in my basket. And it's the Revolution Light Bright Face Glow. I guess this is meant to be a bit like the Charlotte Tilbury, the Halo Glow. But I did see somewhere that had a bit more coverage. So, I'm going to give this a bit of a shake. It comes in like the doe foot kind of applicator that I like. And this is in the colour light. Okay. Reminds me, yeah, a lot of the Elf. And Elf is my favourite over the Charlotte Tilbury because I just prefer the consistency of it. I feel like this does have a bit more coverage um, than definitely the Charlotte Tilbury one. Got a nice glow to it. I feel like this is a bit more of a skin tint than like a glow enhancer. Bright light face glow. Yeah, I would probably wear this as a skin tint. I think it's got enough coverage that... I don't know if I would... I mean, I probably would wear it as a underneath... I probably wouldn't swap this out for my e.l.f. I think the e.l.f. gives the, for me, the perfect coverage and glow. Whereas this, I would whack this on with just some concealer. Because I think the coverage outweighs the glow a bit more. So it means that I can wear it as a full skin tint. But it's nice. I thought the colour was going to be a bit bad for me, but... It is the depths of winter and this is the palest I will be. Um, so this, if it works for me now, but it will definitely work for me in summer. But no, this is nice, but I would, yeah, use this as a skin tint over a glow booster. For me, it's not glowy enough. I mean, my skin looks hydrated, but this is kind of how I'd want my skin to look with a skin tint and like good primers. Okay, so far we've got some wins. I think my skin looks really nice and plump and healthy for saying how dehydrated it was at the start of the video. Okay, next we've got something that I've wanted for a long, long time. We have the Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturiser. I found it really hard to colour match, to colour match myself. Um, I got this from Space NK. So, but I had to really look online. I feel like, I do like it when brands have like the faces, but I feel like we should be showing more than one face. Does that make sense? I think you should have two people of the same category with it on. And I know that's probably expensive for brands, but now that we are moving to online shopping, I feel like, you should be putting in the money into really helping. Um, and obviously in the UK you can't take like products back. So as soon as you buy it, if it's wrong, you're kind of like pooped. I know that in like America you can, if it's swatched or if it's like opened but not used, I think you can take it back. You might even be able to take back used stuff. In the UK you can't. So... I could be wrong and a few companies do offer that but from what I've experienced across like most stores if you open up a product you can't take it back so this is in colour 10N but yeah I struggled a lot with this so I'm hoping this is okay I don't know how much to put on but it is a skin tint but yeah I've had this my eye on this for a while and I haven't actually tried anything from Rare Beauty. I like the packaging, I think it's like nice, easy, simple. 
And I'm gonna go in with a different brush and just start to, yeah, th this is probably a bit light. In the summer, I'd probably have to mix this in with my elf or something to give me a bit extra color. The coverage is nice for a skin tint. It's like melted in. My skin looks very skin-like, but the coverage is nice. This reminds me a lot of the iconic London one, and they're probably similar prices. Sometimes there's something really satisfying with applying foundation or skin tints with a brush. Like, I just like to go over everywhere. Yeah, it's a tad light. It's kind of clinging to a few of my dry spots on my nose, but I'm having a very bad allergy day today. So, I actually can forgive that. I don't even think any of my, like, hardcore things would send up to that. I would say this is actually, like, medium coverage. When you actually look up close, I would say it's actually covered up, like, a lot of, like, my blemishes quite well. So, yeah, I would say this is actually quite a full coverage skin tint, which... I don't mind. I'm not like a MAC face and body girly where like I'm, if I'm putting something on I do want it to have some coverage. Um, but yeah I think my skin looks nice. I would say it's a tad light which is annoying. I always feel like if I go into that, that one stage up everything goes so warm and so pink but like, I think actually this is a tad yellow in person. Like, it's not as neutral as I would like. But I think, yeah, with, like, bronzes and stuff, I can bring some life back into it. Another little mini hourglass product was the Vanish Airbrush Concealer. Look how cute. And I got this in... What colour is this? Birch, which I think is one of the lightest. Again, very nice for, like, a mini. It's got, like, a cute little applicator. And, again, this is something that I've wanted to try... For a long time. I've just won and put a lot on there. And I don't know the level of coverage. Let's see if I've just put on too much. But it feels very creamy. And again, I've just I had my eye on this for a while. But the money. Okay, that blended out beautifully. I like quite hydrating concealers. I will forgive some coverage so that I have hydration. That's kind of what I tend to lean towards. But this, yeah, is blending out like an absolute dream. And I think this color actually is really nice for me. Okay, it feels very nice and hydrating, but I feel like it isn't compromising on the coverage, which is rare. There's only a few that I've found that give me like both that I like. One of them is the Vive concealer but things like the NARS ones and the HMB and Shape Tape they're all like too full coverage for me and just I don't get that hydration wow I mean should I ever doubt Hourglass my under eyes look so hydrated and flawless my skin is looking unreal so I'm gonna have to try that concealer with a few more foundations, but but I feel like it's just transformed that skin tint like and made the skin tint better. Because they've just worked all really lovely together. Okay. This is a very good first impression. I've never actually been let down by an hourglass product, so but it's just so but they do mini so hourglass is really good i have their mini powder they've got obviously minis for all of this they do mini mascaras so i like that they offer that to people that can't just spend 50 60 quid on a product yeah next i've got this elf halo glow this is not new but i saw this again and i had this kind of in my bag 
and I just thought I've got some cash let me just pick this up I've seen that this colour was quite cool um, and we know I love a cool contour slash bronzer I hate these ones I always rip them off this one isn't bad but I just don't think they're like clean and nice I so much prefer it when I can take it off it doesn't get all clogged up so I'll probably take this apart at some point which is what I've done with all my other products that are like that this color is nice I'm very happy that a drugstore brand is doing cool contour see how this blends out look at that blends out lovely it is a light which is nice for people that are as light as me because you can obviously that like, build this up um, and it's not like super pigmented pigment is nice like you want pigment you don't want it to completely disappear but at the same time sometimes products that you have to like use like the t like the rare beauty blushes for me the fact that they're so pigmented puts me off i don't want to have to like put a needle size amount on and it still be too much yes pigment is great and obviously we want pigment but we don't want clown makeup sometimes it's subtle is better this is lovely i'm going for lunch with my family today so i just need some like subtle pretty makeup but yeah this tone is lovely this is obviously in the like light light fair light color and yeah even though the component is whatever i can work with it and yeah i wouldn't actually bronze i would just kind of leave this as it is i like a contour for a bronze on like everyday days um i don't have any new cream blush but i haven't used this in ages this is a, the suso stick blush in blush peach and i'm just taking this on the brush i'm just going to add a little bit of flush i don't use this enough because i don't like putting blush sticks on my cheeks but doing it like that was super easy so i don't know why i don't just do that more because i really think the color is flattering again not too pigmented for me it's the perfect amount i'm sure you can really build up with stuff like that how are my under eyes looking because i haven't set them i mean they are creasing a tiny bit but i have just creasy under eyes there's never been anything that wouldn't like i always have to set my under eyes you know what guys i think i have a sty coming on this eye which is very annoying yeah, my skin is looking beautiful. For saying that this morning I woke up and thought, my skin is not looking great. Right, I'm just going to powder and I'm just going to literally just go in my Kosas Cloud Set on a puff. And I'm just going to set under my eyes and just kind of everywhere. I kind of just set the centre of my face just uh keep everything where it should be but i like all that kind of still like glow okay next for we're gonna do brows next i got this was an actual present that i got from my lovely friend sean and this is the ultra slim brow definer from from bbb london which i think stands for by brow bar london um i've actually seen some of these products on selfridges um and i had a, i was having a little look and so there have been something i've eyed up and then yeah my lovely sean got me this and some other goodies he did get me this like body makeup which i'm very excited to try um kind of i don't really wear fake tan that much i will 
sometimes more on my face because my face just never tans not that my body does but my face will never really tan but there are times when sometimes i'm like my legs look pale and i want something so that um let me get it yeah here it's the vita body blur um and it's like this stunning just put a little bit on there and then you literally just rub it out and can you see it's quite sheer but it just gives you that like unreal kind of tan and like glow can you see like you can't even really see it but it's just kind of warmed up this section of my hand you can kind of see it and um, so i'm very excited to try that yeah so this brow pencil this is in i think this is in the color chai which i think is going to be a really good color it looks like kind of like a like a taupe oh i like this it's not super creamy so that it like moves around emollient that's the word is that the word i don't know it's, yeah it's not super like slippery which i prefer but it deposits pigment where you want it oh no i like this the color is literally perfect some of them when they're slippy i feel like they deposit like too much pigment and I find sometimes I've like drawn like really big brows by accident. Whereas this is nice. I feel like it's just made my eyebrows look like mine, but like better. Yeah, I like that. I really like the colour. It's literally perfect for me. I'm just going to go in with some Benefit like brow gel. This is in the 3D Brow Tones, which is one of my favourite products. And I think they discontinued it. Oh, I'm sorry, but I love it. Okay, next for eyes, I got, I did a little, um, actually, no, let's do some setting spray. I got the Wee Cherie setting spray from the Beauty Crop. I feel like I was influenced by TikTok on this. I wasn't sure to get this one or the, to the like, tan one. Is it like, I don't know what that one is called, but... I just thought this one looks it's a hydrating dual setting mist with hydrochloric acid and cherry extract so yeah i just thought let's give this that mister is like the nicest mister i've ever used in a setting spray this ultra fine dual phase mist gives your skin an instant boost of hydration and helps lock in and refresh your makeup. This gentle mist helps hydrate and minimise your pores. Perfect mist for all skin types. The ultimate dewy glow. Yeah, I really like that. I think my skin looks so lovely. Even though my nose is runny and red and gross, my skin looks so fresh and plump and almost like i've had like a facial do you know when you put makeup on after you've had like really good skincare that's how i feel even though this morning my skin was bad i thought can i even film today my skin was that bad it was just so dehydrated uh next for eyes i i'm just gonna use a bit of eyeliner but i'm a bit scared because of this sty that is coming um what to do is just put on a bit of a transition color i've just i don't have any the new so i'm just going to go in with my nine pan neutral palette so yeah i was going to do eyeliner because of my style but i'm going to put a tiny bit on and i think it'll be fine i got this soft pajal eye pencil pajal i hope i'm saying that right from h&m i did a little h&m order and it's the softest pencil ever so what i'm actually gonna do is i'm gonna see if i can use it almost like a bit of an eye wand and i'm just taking it on a really like little brush and i'm just gonna run this kind of along my lash line just to give me kind of a smoky wing i'm not very good with eyeliner so i can control it better 
when I'm taking it on a little brush. So you still get the kind of winged eyeliner vibe, but I control it so much better this way. Yeah, cute. I got this, this is in brown, but I got it in like a smoky gray as well. Um, they had like loads of colors. I think it was quite cheap. I think it was like fiver. Could have even been less. Okay, I like that. Just very like simple eyes, but for me, I wouldn't have been able to have just drawn that on and like smudged it out. Next, I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes. And I got a mascara that I've been wanting to get for a long time. It is the Vive Modern Mascara in Midnight Black. And when I tell you this mascara feels luxe, it's like heavy, weighty, love the packaging. I mean, your fingers are going to get all over it, but I'm here for it. And the brush is like nice. It's like a bristly brush, if that makes sense. I say that a lot. What I mean by bristly brush is it's not like plastic. I mean, it could be plastic, but it's more of like a brush. And I've seen such good things about this. And when Jamie was reviewing makeup, she would always get have mascaras that I liked. Okay. This is literally like perfect. It's like volumizing and lengthening. I feel like I've just managed to create the like volume and length I would want in like half the time. Like almost instantly, it almost looks as if you've done like two coats. I feel like we've had lots of wins. To be honest, with all this first impressions, they are kind of things that I've like wanted for a while and like heard good things about. And um, there's not many. I guess the H&M was a bit of a rogue purchase, but everything else has had like such good reviews. So... I guess they had good views for like a reason. I really like this formula. I feel like this mascara as well when it dries out just a little bit because obviously this is fresh. When it dries out a tad it's going to be even better. I feel like mascara when it's like a month old is like the shit. I love that. I actually really like my eyes. I feel like they look like alive. Next for lips, I'm just going to go in with this NYX Lide Lan Pencil. I got this at a similar time to when I got some of my other colours, but I just haven't really used it because of the colour. And I just know I love the formula of these. But I will say, I think these are some of my favourite formulas of lip liner. Because a lot of the time I put my lip liner all over my lip. I like a creamy lip liner. And this colour is... It's cool. It's like a cool pink. Which isn't my normal. I'm normally a very brownie neutral girl. But you like to spice things up a bit. Next I got a couple things from Jeffree Star. I got... And I will just say the packaging of Jeffree Star. Even though... Um, I like quite clean packaging, like things like P. Louise when there's like 10,000 things going on just isn't really my vibe. It's great for other people that do like that. I can appreciate the effort and time that goes into packaging like that. It's just not for me. And Jeffree Star can be borderline that, but it's like weighty. It's yeah. And this is in the Supreme Gloss in Celebrity Skin. And I do have the Celebrity Skin in the matte liquid lipstick. And I do like the colour of it. So I thought I'd get the gloss. And then I got a bigger version of Posh Spice. Which is like my ultimate favourite. I love Jeffree Star lip products because he manages to do cool without looking dead very well. Um, this is a very weird applicator though. I did open it and it's like, it's like just a bit bizarre. I don't really know how to use it. Like, do I use it this side or this side? 
And this is like a pigmented glass. This tone is like perfect for like how pale I am. Mmm, I love the feel of this. It's almost like, like I wouldn't say it's a gloss. I would say it's almost like a very satin lipstick. But I'm obsessed with that tone. Like I think it's just so flattering for me. Okay, here we have it. Final look. I think my skin looks stunning. Like absolutely 10 out of 10. And saying I have, I'm having, I'll probably have to edit all my sneezes out, but I'll probably sneeze during this video 100 times. <laughs> this is what goes on behind the camera. So the fact that it stayed during all of that is unreal. Hourglass products, 10 out of 10. So happy with the Vive. Lip products I'm obsessed with. The skin tint, I, th I don't think there's a loser so far. I think every product is great. What I'm gonna do is I am gonna go now and watch the, um, I've had it on the background behind you. It's the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. So I'm gonna sit and watch that and then I'm going for lunch with my dad and my sister. Um, and what I'll do is I'll do a little check in when I'm back just to say, how I'm feeling after I've worn the products for like six, seven hours. But I'm really, really, really happy with how this looks. I think my skin looks great. I've managed to revive my poor, poor skin. As always, I will leave all the products linked down below. If you haven't subscribed already, I would love it if you could, would. It'd mean an awful lot to me. Um, yeah, and I'll see you again in a few hours to check in. Hi guys, I hope you are well. As you can see, well, I don't know if you can see, um, it is quite a few hours later from when I last saw you. And yeah, when I left the house, it was torrential rain. And yeah, we went for a nice roast. I mean, my lips are incredibly dry. This week I need to drink 10 times more water than I had done last week. I think it's just the weather. Me not drinking enough water has just, yeah, not helped with hydration. As you can see, my skin looks okay. Um, nose area, obviously, is a bit wonky, but like, my allergies have just been absolutely crazy today. And there was like 10,000 dogs in the place we went to have our dinner, which is fine. Obviously, dogs welcome, but when you're allergic to them, and there's like seven and obviously doors are shut windows are shut because it's cold means i sneeze a lot more than normal but yeah for saying that i've eaten i've been out and this makeup's been on for quite a long time i am happy i think a lot of these were wins i'm super super excited about the hourglass stuff i think some of those will mix really nicely into my more full coverage glams the eye pencil, saying I had a really watery eye, um, has stayed on. Very happy. And yeah, the Reeve mascara, I think that was just the instant win. So yeah, positive about nearly everything I wore today. Um, I will link everything down below. Um, yeah, and thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you again super soon.